Hello everybody, my name is Dude Man and welcome back to some more Simply Magic. This is very magical. Alright, so today I actually do quite a bit of Thumbcraft, which is nice um, because I just want to get started on it and plus there's a bunch of possibilities and things to do with Thumbcraft. God damn it. So today end up finding another one of these like uh generations here this whole castle thing protecting the villagers off in that direction which is a mountain soy slash mountain it was like a castle made out of snow or a wall made out of snow it was pretty cool i thought i want to go check out that place again soon but uh right now i'm just filling up my wand with little vase oh boy all right why am I doing that? Okay, so right. So today, I am going to try and make a tree farm, and I pretty much kind of want to make a. I guess you could say it's kind of like a, the ultimate tree farm, or something like that. Not the other one, but you know what I mean. It's pretty much a tree farm with a bunch of different types of trees instead of just oak. I think that should be good for today, or for now. Um, I have, okay, so this is what I've been doing. I have made a whole huge, huge area <laughs> for uh, my Thumbcraft place here. I might actually end up expanding it again because there's actually quite a bit that I want to do for Thumbcraft. I mean, a lot. Oh so, yeah, there's a bunch of new tabs here. Oh, we've seen this before, this is Blatania stuff. Boy, can I get, can't wait to get to there. Animal transfusion. Ooh, pretty good and get four, that's nice. You know, and the Eldritch which is turned into a Godomancy, whatever the hell that's called. This but this is pretty much the Eldritch tab that you can unlock once you end up end up getting a certain amount of warp. Um so there's quite a bit here. Uh then there's stomach that. Um <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Which is pretty interesting in itself, actually. Uh, I might actually be making some of these boots here. I think this is where if you walk on water, it will end up freezing. If you walk on lava, it will... I think... Maybe, no, I think this is when you fall down at a certain height and you just pretty much make an explosion. So that's maybe... that's. I think that's what it is. So that's pretty cool. There's an oblivion jar that's better than a void jar. Um, I'm not really sure what it completely does. I have read it and I still don't really understand it that well. There's a wild folk guy called Containment, which is pretty much like those safari nets from Mine Factory, Mine Factory Reloaded, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what is that? Illumination. Let the, ooh, that's pretty cool. Great wood boat. What is? Oh, you make a boat out of great wood. That's great. And a boat out of thamium. What's the point of that? I don't know. What did the? What the fuck is that? What is that? Alchemite. This can go over the long. Um, yeah, there's just so much stuff. It's cool. You can you can make Essentia out of, or you can make, or you can make Essentia into a block form. That's pretty cool. Make your aspects into a block, or a uh, into a, a storage block. Um, and there's a wand folk guy. I think this is wand folk guy. Looks cool. What does it do? It's pretty cool. And witching gadgets. This is really, really, really interesting. Holy crap. This is something I've been like messing around for a while here off camera. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. I or I have ever seen for Thomcraft. This is called the Thomic Terraforming. Terraformer. What it pretty much does is that it can change the the biome that you're in. Like if you want to turn into a taiga biome or a or a, a desert biome, or a, a hell biome, I guess. The, uh, mushroom island biome, I don't know what that is. It might be just a tainted biome, maybe. Or into a jungle, taiga island. You know, it's just insanely cool. I like I like that. That's really awesome. And then we got some more um, purification for ores and stuff. Which is cool, which we can double. These clusters, can pretty much, you can pretty much double them. Um, and there's one more thing. This thing, the Infernal Blast Furnace. This thing can, I think, can triple your ore. 
And if you try to smelt your ore clusters in this, I guarantee you probably even quadruple it, maybe. I don't know. But it does give you, like, additional nuggets every now and then. So this is pretty sweet, but we're nowhere near getting to that level yet. We need to try and capture some known v snows because, uh, like the Infernal Furnace, it can only be powered with Ignis. And uh, this is a way to power those types of machines with a uh, certain item. I don't know where that is. I forgot, what, forgot where it was. But um, again, it's just so freaking cool. I like it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so what do I what I'm gonna do here first? I'm gonna try and clusterify, if that's even a word, <laughs> uh, a cinnabar here. So I need metallium, metallium, and ordo. And that's metallium, and I need ordo. What can I use for ordo? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Um, if you ever play with Thalmcraft, you know that you have to throw out, if you want to scan your items, you have to throw it on the ground and scan it. It's insanely tedious, and if you want to scan everything in your chest, you have to throw everything out. But, you can actually scan it in your inventory, see? Um, let's see what, there we go. Bam! It's scanned in my inventory, but by just hovering the thermometer in uh, my inventory. That is incredible. <laughs> I thought that was like the coolest thing I've ever seen in Thomcraft. Honestly, I've been wishing for something like that for years. Oh man. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Holy shit. God, was that like a reference from a horror movie or something? Or a, uh... A, uh, creepypasta? That was weird, because it had a, a bunny mask on his face. I am the goggles of revealing. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna throw that out. Alright, so now that we have on I have this thing on our face, I actually want to scan this. Where's Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have my scanning thing. Awesome. Yes! Oh, got a new research clue. And another one! And another one! Holy shit, that was like three in a row. Holy crap. Man, that's awesome. I kind of wish they would tell me what I just unlocked. Okay, um, you're supposed to tell me... There's probably... Yeah, there's nothing. There's no bubbles that are like a different color. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. Put that in there. Put that in there. Oh, I see what I did wrong there. I didn't put Ordo in there. Oh well. Got some native cluster anyways. So we can just simply leave that in there. It won't, uh... Yeah. The only thing I would do is just overflow. I can just easily clean that up again. Alright, so let's see. Uh, I think we might just get one, but I'm not sure. You should be getting two of them, because this is like enriched ore. And you do get two! Awesome! Nice! So I'm pretty much going to be doing that with all my ore from now on. Except I'm just going to need some aspects or these, whatever, to, you know, to, to, to God damn it, I keep putting it in the wrong area. To, um, you know, to make the recipe and stuff. So, hot throw saplings, they're very good use for Ordo. If you ever play this, use, uh, try to get a ton of them, because they're really good for Ordo. A lot of items in this game that have Ordo, but have many other aspects sometimes. So, scan that, got some more research, awesome. And I guess this is the thing that we just unlocked, yeah. That's cool. Alright. Okay, so let's see, um... So yes, like I said before in the beginning of the video, we're gonna try and get a tree farm going. So what we need is, oh boy, we actually need quite a bit of stuff here. Um, I'm not gonna do any any infusion yet, because I don't, I actually kinda want an extra modifier. But uh, we're just gonna be using flash golems first. Um, unless we're gonna have to fence them off, because mobs, uh, hostile mobs will 
definitely attack them. So it's gonna suck. So maybe I might make a golem that I can fight. Um, I need something that's strength. I might just use an iron golem here. Not the village one, but this iron golem. Possibly. It's very slow. But his durability is high and his strength is high. Self repair is slow, but I wonder. Oh, wait. Uh, Golem's melee attack also sets his target on fire. That's something I do not want whatsoever. It also increases its physical damage and have quickly its harvest materials of the point task dependent on brute strength. That's cool. Okay, so that is something I want. Um, let's see. This, this thing makes uh, my golems faster. Okay. So I guess I might just go ahead. Yeah, I might just go with iron golems. And then uh, make a flash golem too. I need to kill a certain amount of zombies though. So, all right. And then I'm gonna need a chopping core. Oh god, I do have to go through fusion. God damn it. Oh shit. Okay, this is gonna be a while. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna try and get the amount of things that I need here. Gonna make it a fusion altar. Um, I'll show that off because it's actually a pretty uh, complex type of thing and stuff for new people. Uh, so I'll show that off when I get to it. I might just make a clay golem. No. Iron golem it is for fighting. That's something I want. So yeah, I'll be right back is whenever I get these items. I wonder if golems can put things and barrels because yeah you're able to do that that would be so freaking awesome all right let's see can golems oh shit i need a gather core fuck um i want to make a uh the golem engine's bell but when you try to it will do this it, it will give you the throw me for a golem engine's bell from quandrum i have no idea if this was intended or if this is a glitch but this is not what I need. What? Okay, so per apparently this is needed for a quest. Okay. I just need to make a straw golem. One, two, three, four, three, four. Mother of God, I forgot about the wheat. Oh no, it's gonna freaking drain. Oh. Hurry, guy, hurry. God damn it. I was a little bit too late. Alright, now let's do this. Okay. Bye, yeah, there's the straw golem. There we go. Pointless as hell, but whatever. Where's the book? Oh, okay, here it is. Throw him. Why do I have this? I don't get it. Can I use it to pick it up? No, I can't. What the? I can't make a bell? You're giving me this weird fucking purplish sparkly ball thing. I have no idea what the fuck to do with it. Wait. I don't mean to sound irritated, but just sometimes with mod packs that do shit like this. It's just so annoying. Okay, now it's giving me the bell, not this throw me a ball of interest bell type of item. Get the fuck out of here. Wait. What did I just do? What? Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Dumbass. Throw me a golemish spell. So you throw the item, it gives you a bell. That is... Fuck you. God, that is so trolly. Holy shit. To me in my eyes, that seems like a troll. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it meant it literally. God. So much time wasted. God damn it. Let's try this out finally and we don't have any saplings. So let's, uh, first let's test out the theory if they can actually put stuff in barrels. 
place it on the ground so they don't have to hop over all a ton of stuff. All right, paste you there. So. I am going to give him the gather core. All right. Uh, first, I gotta put something in there. All right, I want you to go get that. Oh my god, he can actually put stuff in barrels. That's awesome. Chips. Okay. Go get it. There. Another seven. Awesome. Yes. Sweet. Barrels work. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now I have to make it actually quite a bit of barrels. Yes. No. Arg. Okay. Now I'm not really sure. I might need another golem that can sort things. Sorting, okay. This core works much like an empty core with one key difference. It only takes an item from its home inventory if it already exists in one of its marked inventories. This makes it exceedingly useful to sort unordered items from the container into the proper places. You cannot specify specific items to include or exclude like you can with a normal empty core. I might have to make separate tree farms here, actually. Put separate golems here. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna have to happen. Actually, let's not kill him. This one right there. Actually, I better yet, hold on. Because I don't want him to get suffocated and die. I've had that happen so many times from uh, when I was trying this on mod sauce. A bunch of my golems were getting suffocated because of leaves. That makes any sense. So I'm gonna have to make a ton of warding blocks. So let's see. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the start of the farm here. I'm just gonna have to make a bunch. Of... Are you fucking kidding me? How the fuck do you get in here? I've been having those guys just come out of nowhere constantly all day. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a separate. Why are there so many goddamn chickens around here? How are they escaping? All right. <laughs> Oops. So let's see, what else are we gonna do today? Um. Uh, I think I just. Oh yeah, that's right. I need another golem to do that. Okay, let's uh, go back up there. Uh, wait, no. Yeah. All right. You have that one, and you have that one. All right, sweet. Um, let's get some bone meal. I want to try. It. I want to try this out here. Oh, okay, grow while I'm gone. <laughs> All right, this worked. Now do your job. Now, uh, I think I should probably replace this golem with thomium golems, and just have flesh golems gather stuff. Uh, let's see. There, I'm just going to throw that out. Place wood in there. Let's see, uh, let's see. Can I actually tell you to put that in there? Or you have no idea what you're doing. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, oh. I need separate golems doing separate things. Fuck! That is so annoying. I can't believe that. I'm not gonna put that in there. You don't know? Yeah, he's just gonna go to there. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna tell him to just pick up saplings only. So, there we go, man. Alright, so. Arg. But I'm gonna. Take you down and let me have that. Bam, I'll give you a gather core. Actually, just sleep now. So, do not want to deal with any mobs? And use a Thomium Golem because they are strong, and uh, the stronger they are, the faster they cut down. So, 
collect other trees. So you have that. Thing is, I don't think they sometimes drop their little enhanced, their little things that go on their belt. Just insanely aggravating, <laughs> in my opinion, honestly. So, alright, let's see if fast they can take that down. Alright, do your thing. Do your thing! <laughs> See how fast that goes? Pretty nice. What are you supposed to be doing, huh? Uh, bye, um, he doesn't go for the wood, which is nice, so I'm gonna have to go back get another... Uh, another gather core. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to smell like a crap ton of this stuff here. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna have to wait for that. So I'll be right back once I get another gathered core. Alrighty then. Boom! I'm gonna throw some more stuff down for you. There you go, yeah. You know, I just realized, oh, sorry about that. I thought I meant to do that. Uh, I just realized something. I need a golem to harvest, pretty much. Uh, there's no replant the grubs. That's really stupid. Ah, oh, I need something that can place things down then, or just harvest, <laughs> or you know, the uh, what's the word? Uh, just pretty much just replant this happens. But I don't think there is. Uh, is there something in Thomcraft that can do that? Just pretty much place things down so I ha don't have to do that. Yo, we'll have this. Chop it out, dink that thing down. Yes, okay. Just gotta wait for this thing. Okay, it actually does go, it is decay pretty fast. I'm glad it has that property too. Pretty cool. Um. I think that might actually just only work for plants. Hmm. I hate you golems, you're so stupid. All right, so I think that should be it for today. I wasn't able to complete my project here on camera, but that's all right. Anyways, guys, um, if you want to try this mod pack out for yourself, I'll link in the description below for you guys to try out. Uh, try out this mod pack called Simply Magic. It's for 1.7.10. And uh, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, my name is Dude Man, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. still has his has the aspects what the fuck i never seen that